Arcade Box 2. Is it a short lived Gadana miner? What is going on, miners, and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Well, today we're taking a look at the KD Box 2. And man, this thing just came out, I feel like, from Gold Shell, and already Bitmain has fired back and put this thing to shame with the KA3. Now, they're not even in the same ballpark when it comes down to price point. This one is right around 400. And then you have the KA3, which you're talking pretty significant in the thousands there. So they're on two different sides of the spectrum, but why would we compare them and talk about them? Well, the issue is, is that this unit came out and the network difficulty and total hash rate wasn't through the roof. But when the KA3 came out just a few weeks later, man, this, the profitability on this thing has gone down. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about that. And you're actually going to see that trend start to occur when I start to talk about profitability and how the profitability on this brand new KD Box 2 is going down day by day. So I want to give you guys a quick look at exactly how I'm using this unit, the power supply that I'm using versus the traditional one sold out there. So I'm using the HP 1200 watt server power supply. These go for 40 to $50 right now during the bear market. During the bull run, these were up around 150. And then we have a breakout board here. I get mine from Parallel Miners and also on Amazon. Now for our cables, this has been the biggest difference for me. You guys can take a look. The veteran miner, he has some of the best cables out there. I don't even know how he's not sold out of these. So these are custom made cables, um, 16 gauge cables. They have, these are literally made for exactly how we're using them. Six pin to six pin. There's no six plus two, just six pin to six pin. These are designed for a lot of these mini ASIC miners out there and it works great. Now this unit's only 400 watts. This supports 1200 watts on 240 volt or 900 watts on 120 volts. So let me get this all set up and good to go. All right, we've been plugged in for several minutes now. You see the way these wires look. Oh, they come out so good. So it has the two six pins here. Always guys, make sure these are seated entirely pushed in properly. This one is the ethernet only model. There are some wireless ones coming out now that have ethernet and wireless. Uh, from there, let's go ahead and check over on the watt meter here. This is a kilowatt meter. I'll put this down below if you guys wanna nab yourself one. So about 418. So it was 400 listed, but there's a plus and minus kind of warning there. So 418 watts at the wall um, and listed at 400 watts. Let's jump on the computer and let's talk about profitability. All right, guys, so let's dive into it. So first off, I wanted to show you guys where I got my KD box to, which is Coin Mining Central. And if you guys are going to purchase from there, I have a discount code for you. Now, full disclaimer, it does send a little commission my way, so I do appreciate it, but I haven't found a better discount code for Coin Mining Central. If you find one, please let me know. But if you use the Hobbyist Miner at checkout on Coin Mining Central, you get $120 off. So there's a challenge out there. Can you find a better discount code? Let me know. So on Coin Mining Central, we'll come in here. We're going to go to Products and Cadena on the far left-hand side. And here we have it, the KDA box two or the KD box two here. Now it's $482 and 50 cents. Go ahead and take off that $120 and you're sitting pretty good right around that $360 mark. Now we may see this price drop even farther with all the additional big full size ASICs coming online right now. It should be pretty crazy. If you guys are seeing the KA threes are just blowing up right now. And unfortunately destroying a lot of the network hash rate, which will absolutely affect the profits for the KD box too, as time goes on. But here's the unit right here. You can purchase it. Take a look here. They have two options, rest of the world or United Kingdom. Pick the one that fits best for you, as well as the power supply option. Now I showed you guys at the top of the video, how I'm powering my KD box too. I find that to be the best, most secure, safest and cleanest avenue to go, but you can go with a power supply that they provide as well. So come over here, check it out, five terahash, Woo! but it's at 400 watts. So keep that in mind. This thing does use a decent amount of electric. So let's dive in. All right, so we are over on my unit right now that you guys can see. It has zero current hash rate right now, and the balance is like 0.0004. So there's a little bit left in there that hasn't been paid out, but I do take that into account when we go ahead and start to look at metrics. Now you can see it hasn't hashed at all in quite some time, uh, a little over a day. I wanted to give it an opportunity to just let everything fall off, all the deposits occur and everything like that. So it actually hasn't been on this wallet. I dedicated this wallet address 
just for this testing. Scrolling down, we can see under our payouts here, we have a variety of different payouts. Now, as we talked about, we started on February 3rd and we didn't have a full day on February 3rd. We started right around 4.30 p.m. Eastern. So you have the payments that, that are in here and then there's a tiny bit of a payment on the last days, actually today, which I ended yesterday. So, you know, all those payments roll over. So I did equate for that very little balance that was left as well as what was left in the pool as well. I, I added those all into our calculations. So before we jump in, I want to show you guys over on CoinGecko. I love CoinGecko. I use it all the time. Currently at the time of recording this video, which is February 13th, around 3.30 p.m. Eastern, Kadena is sitting at $1.03. And we're going to take into account later on in the video, the all-time high, which was back in November 11th of 2021. Oh, the good old days of $27.64. Man, if we got back to half of that, I would be happy. Okay, so here we are. Another spreadsheet, right? Seb has a little hard at work here, you could say. Uh, but we do have this breakdown very similar to what we did uh, with the CK uh, B box. Now, what I wanted to make you guys aware of is this one is a little bit wonky. There were some odd numbers in here. We'll talk about that in a minute. And my timing wasn't as uh, skillfully turned on and turned off at the exact same time on each day. So as we talked about, if you look in the top right-hand corner, we started on the 2nd at about 4.30 p.m. And then we ended on the 12th at 10.30 p.m. So there's definitely some rollover days in there. So if we take a look on the left-hand side, you know, on the 2nd, we didn't have any payouts, which makes sense. We started mining that day. And then our payout on the 3rd is a little bit more because of that little bit of time on the 2nd. The same thing applies at the very end of things. So when I went ahead and calculated everything out, we're actually at right about 10 days total if you added everything up a little bit more. So when we get down to the very bottom of this document, we're gonna base everything off of a 10 day average. Even though at first glance, you may think 12 day, well, we didn't get full 12 day in there. So everything's gonna be based off of a 10 day average. That seemed to work out well. So if we start on the far right hand side, under our timeline, you can see that right now on the 13th of February, as we talked about a dollar and three cents. There's that all time high in there for the $27.61. We'll talk about that more on the second half of this part of the video. So let's run through things on the left-hand side. So let's start at the top. So the, the third is kind of a wash because it included the full third and a little bit of the second. So you kind of had a little bit more Kadena and time to mine. So really let's start on the fourth. So if we take a look on the fourth here, you can see that we got 1.23728. We actually received them in two different payouts throughout the day which was worth, if we base everything off of a dollar and three cents, one dollar and 27 cents. Now, you can see things start to trend a little bit downwards. We go to we go to 1.17 Kadena, but then we go back up a little bit to 1.19, 1.19, 1.19, .19, and then down on the ninth, you can see that we hit 1.05. So this is where my like head starts to turn and I'm like, okay, are we seeing like all these K3s and stuff start to come online? Now the 10th was really wonky. The 10th, um, I don't know what happened that day. Like if if I had an issue in the shed or power or whatever, I'm not, or the pool, I'm not sure, but we were at 0.52504. So that day is kind of a wash as well, but this is realistic. Like this is a normalcy as a home crypto miner. We don't see perfect days all the time. So I'm not gonna write it off entirely. Now the 11th, I think is a really good example of the network difficulty increasing, increasing with all the additional Kadena miners, some being the KD box twos that are people are buying up right now. I'm hearing a lot from the community of people buying them. And then in addition to that, as we talked about with the K3. Now, the 12th as well here continues to show that pattern of 0.95. So that network difficulty going up even more. And then now we're down to like 98 cents per day. So we've dropped pretty significantly. And then the 13th is not a full day, as you guys can see. You know, that was really just uh, additional um, balances that went ahead and paid out. So in total, during that time period, $11.84 when we went ahead and calculated everything in. Now, if we take that and look at an average per day, we're gonna base off of a 10-day time period. It puts out $1.18, which going back, looking at uh, mine the ASIC and also uh, ASIC miner value, you guys can see that you know $1.18 is actually pretty accurate if you went back and looked over there at that time period. So 
based off that information now and that's just now on the 13th who knows by the you know the next two to three to four weeks what this will actually look like but per month it's 35 dollars and 53 cents and then per year it's 426 dollars and 33 cents so you will break even in one year based off of these metrics but who knows if i was to go ahead and do this video two months from now is the profitability going to be half or a quarter based off of the network difficulty i really don't know this is what happens when you have you know a normalcy and hash rate and then bam it goes through the roof with a brand new miner hitting the market more efficient more horsepower behind it now if we go back and this is always fun to do um and i always like to look at an all-time high if things return to an all-time high not to say it will but it's always fun you know to speculate these things you can see that on the on the right hand column that we're averaging you know during this time period we went from 11 dollars to about 300 dollars significantly different when your uh, value of Cadena is $27.61. So our average is about $30.04 over a month, $901.30. And over a year, 10, this is where it breaks out, $10,000, $10,815. So that's pretty incredible. Um, this miner back in 2021, November uh, of when the all-time high was, would have kicked ass. But there's no way this would have cost, what, under $400 back in 2021. Like this unit would have been quadruple the price back then because ASIC miners, you guys will find, are very much reflect the current cryptocurrency value. So with Bitcoin, with the, with like S19J Pros, uh, and same thing with these types of Cadena miners, the, the, the value of that coin uh, and the current market always reflects directly on the hardware. We're seeing that right now being in a bear market, being under... $400. But there you have it. Our KD box two right now does about a dollar and 18 cents per day. But if you're watching this in a few weeks or months from now, who knows what it's going to be. All right. So there you have it. The KD box two. It's not too bad. It's actually a really good home miner. Now it is significantly larger than your typical mini ASIC miners that you would get from gold shell. It's louder. It runs hotter but it's pretty badass at the end of the day. And I'm really happy with it. I think this is like, this is right on the cusp of breaking through like that home ASIC, uh, mid-size ASICs or, you know, kind of, uh, but this is right on that cusp because it is louder and it does use significantly more heat and the Watts being at about 400 versus we'll call it the cousin of this, which is those mini ASICs like the Dogecoin and stuff like that. But that's gonna wrap things up guys. If you guys do wanna go ahead and nab one of those or any other ASICs, go over to Coin Mining Central. Dot com. I'll put a link directly down below. It not only is a referral link, but it also allows you to then utilize that huge discount code of $120 savings on Coin Mining Central. Shout out to them once again for providing this unit for today's testing. I really do appreciate the partnership that I have with Coin Mining Central. Guys, that's going to wrap things up for today. I'd love your thoughts and feedback on some of the things that we talked about regarding this ASIC, regarding the KA3, the current Cadena network. Is it just oversaturated now with miners i love your thoughts feedback and concerns directly down below in the comment section that's gonna wrap things up i'll see you guys next time take care today's video is sponsored by crypto.com as a home crypto miner it is crucial to have your cryptocurrency at your fingertips and the crypto.com app can help being able to send and receive cryptocurrency quickly easily and on the go is a must have in 2023 the Crypto.com app allows you to utilize your cell phone as a gateway into the crypto world, no matter where you are. No matter if you're looking to buy, sell, send, or receive crypto on the go, the Crypto.com app has you covered. If you're looking to liquidate your mined crypto often, you can set your GPU mining rigs and ASIC miners to mine directly to your Crypto.com wallet, making it simple and easy to cash out quickly. Download the Crypto.com app today and give it a try. No harm in testing it out, poking around and seeing if the Crypto.com app fits your hobbyist miner needs. Guess what? Use the link in today's video description to support the hobbyist miner entirely free.